are there we have been learning the technique of using abacus for our calculations okay we have used the big friends in our previous videos also for calculating and you probably would like to learn exactly how to use these big friends for the calculations right today we are going to learn everything about the big friends before that if you haven't learned the small friends please go ahead and learn that okay big friends are almost similar to the small friends but these are the complements with respect to 10 and like this small friends the big friends are those two numbers or the friends of each other that sum up to 10 okay let's write down few big friends here number 9 is a big friend of 1 number 8 is a big friend of 2 number 7 is a big friend of 3 6 is a big friend of 4 5 is a big friend of 5 4 is a big friend of 6 3 is a big friend of 7 2 is a big friend of 8 and 1 is a big friend of 9. Okay. Uh, you are probably wondering why I have written this again. 9 is a big friend of 1. That means 1 is a big friend of 9. Alright. That is very simple. But... Why I have written that separately? Okay, we are going to come to that later. For now, these are the big friends. Have you noticed one common thing in all of these? Have you noticed that 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, 3, 7, 2, 8 and 1, 9. All these numbers are the numbers, all the pairs rather I would say. These pairs are such pairs that they sum up to 10 right so big friends are basically nothing but the complements with respect to 10 why do we need to use this big friends we use this big friends when the beads on the abacus aren't enough to do our calculations for example this is our abacus let's clear our abacus first and this is 8 on our abacus all right now to this if we want to add number 7 how are we going to do that to add 7 we do not have heavenly bead here we do not have two enough earthly beads here what are we going to do we are going to use our big friend because we don't have enough beads to add 7 directly. Okay. So, what is the big friend? Who is the big friend of 7? The big friend of 7 is 3, right? So, what are we going to do? We are going to add 1 here in the tens place and subtract 3 here in the units place to get our answer. Okay. So the answer is 1 here in the tens place and 5 here in the units place. So answer is 15. So 8 plus 7 that becomes 15. Okay, it's okay you are confused right now. We are going to focus on multiple examples using big friends in our following video. We are going to check addition separately, subtraction separately. So right now, for now, just remember this big friends. I don't want you all to mug it up. All you can do is understand the numbers that sum up to 10 are the big friends of each other. Okay. And we use it in a format like for addition. Uh, just the way we have seen right now. 7 is equal to 10 minus 3. Right. We did just that here. We added 1 
here in the tens place that means we have added 10 and we subtracted 3 right we used plus 7 in the form of plus 10 minus 3 in the similar way all these complements are used for addition in the form of plus 10 minus the uh, friend big friend okay so for example 4 if we need to add and we if you do not have enough beads to add 4 what we do is we add we use it in the we do it in the form of plus 10 minus 6 okay similarly for 3 it, it will be to add 3 it will be plus 10 minus 7 and for subtraction what do we do for subtraction if you want to subtract 8 See if you want to subtract 8 and we cannot subtract 8 because there are not uh, enough earthly and heavenly beads to subtract 8. What are we going to do? We do it in the form of minus 8 is equal to minus 10 plus 2. I will give you an example, one example of subtraction also. So if in the, if in the same example, if this is 15, okay, on our abacus. And now if we need to subtract 8, okay, how are we going to do that? We cannot subtract 8. We only have this heavenly bead. We do not have any earthly beads here. Right? So, to subtract 8 from this number, what are we going to do? We are going to use it in the form of minus 8 is equal to minus 10 plus 2. Minus 10 plus 2. Okay? So, for that, we are going to subtract this 10 and we are going to add 2 earthly beads here. Okay? Are you following me? So, this is our answer. That is 7. Okay, uh, there, there is one table that I can show you. I have made this for you all. So, okay, these are the complementary numbers and uh, this is basically why these are the complementary numbers. Okay, because they sum up to 10 and this is the format in which we use it for the addition. This is the format in which we use it for the subtraction. Don't worry. This is a big table. Don't get scared. You don't have to uh, mug it up. All you need to do is understand what is to be done. Okay. And why it is done. I hope I am uh, very clear. If not, I will revise it quickly. These are the complementary numbers. Those that sum up to 10. All of these. Okay. And we use it in the for, for addition. We use it in the form of 10 minus the complementary number and for subtraction we use it minus 10 plus the complementary number okay how exactly the calculations are done we are going to come to that in our following videos for that stay tuned subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video till then keep learning and keep mastering the technique of abacus with instabacus